when the Mother Lode Theater, um, if you know, then, uh, was donated to the city um, to be used for performing arts. And um, Bob Poor, um, who had a very big interest within the performing arts, and, and Gus Miller, you know, formed a committee to look at you know renovating the the theater for use for performing arts and entered into a lease with the Butte Silver Bowl for the use of that and began a campaign uh, to renovate. Uh, I think it was about a million dollars at the time. I'd actually have to um, get you those dollars. And so it was renovated and opened up in 1996. Now since 1996, like any of our own homes or other office buildings, um, facilities, you know, there comes a point when you need to start making some updates and uh, there's always ongoing maintenance that has to occur in any building. And so now, you know, we're at a point where we need to be looking at some of those updates so that we can uh, continue to have the facility open for the public as a, an arts and culture venue for the community and Southwest Montana. So some of the things that were done um, initially, there were lights, there was a lot of painting, there was carpet, um, the seating um, was you know, repaired. Um, I actually don't know everything, but basically it was able to be opened up. And so you know, we are looking at having to do some upgrades. Uh, we've received grants recently uh, to upgrade the audio system, um, which we got through the uh, Department of Commerce, Tourism and Infrastructure grant program. We've received grants from the Community Butte Community Foundation uh, through Northwest Energy uh, and more recently now Tibbet that is all going to provide some upgrades but also be able to improve our ability to market the theater to the community uh, with our premiere series which is the Mother Lode series. And like any you know thing that's gone off in the last 20 years uh, you know, there are, it, they, things become expensive. Our shows are becoming expensive. It does require more work. And so in order to move that in and out, you know, we do need to upgrade our cargo lift, which is going to be a major expense. And then we are having to, you know, look at, um, with Butte Silver Bowl uh, as a partner, you know, they are the owner of the building, but there are repairs to the roof and potential looking at the electrical system that will minimize the fires, you know, the, the danger of any type of fire um, that could come through, and then working with the county on a uh, fire enunciation system on that one. So, you know, we do have a list of things, but I think, you know, there's two components to what we're looking at at the Mother Lode Theater. One is the building itself, uh, in terms of what are those capital investment needs that, you know, through the county or, you know, whatever funding, grant funding can be obtained but also from the programming end, so that we can increase the programming. So for instance, the ability to uh, purchase uh, a projector allows us to widen the type of programming that we do. Uh, you know, looking back at the history of the theater when it was the Bow or the Fox Theater, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things that we can do. Also partnering in to bring in additional shows, whether it's music or lectures, you know, we've brought in uh, Rob Quist, Anika Chambers, uh, we brought in the Irish Comedy Show, and looking for sponsors to be able to, to help us fund those types of entertainment to come back into Butte like we did before, so that we're actually keeping people here to be entertained rather than sending them over to Bozeman or Missoula, or bringing Bozeman and Missoula over here for things that are not occurring in those areas. We have programming this year, the Mother Lode series, we have seven shows. Uh, beginning in September and going through the first part of March and so that is our series it is an extra show than we typically have um, we were able to you know negotiate a couple deals and so with the exception of the Montana Repertory Theater right now all the other six shows are the only shows that are being held in Montana so I think that's a great opportunity for us to be able to attract people from the, the communities and and you know areas to be able to either come down for the show or come down and stay. You know, we're gonna be working with uh, the lodging and restaurants to try to pull together some packages to encourage people to stay. Well, it sounds like you're getting after it, so. Well, we are. You know, one of the things that Bob Poor set up uh, when uh, he, you know, really began on um, this venture of the Butte Center for, for, for Performing Arts 
was the uh, development of the Friends of the Mother Lode. So the Butte Center for the Performing Arts, we do business as the Mother Lode Theater, but then also as part of that arm underneath the 501c3, we have Friends of the Mother Lode. And in years past, we still do get donations through that, but now what we've done is to update the various funding tiers and sponsorships. Um, we call it the, you know, the funds for excellence, um, as well as uh, for the programming, but it all is under the Friends of the Mother Load. So when people donate, they can do it directly to the Friends of the Mother Load, the Center for Performing Arts, or right to the Mother Load Theater. It all goes into the same 501c3. Okay, so it's all tax deductible. All tax deductible, yes. Uh, we do have an endowment that was set up uh, with Bob Poor, and the endowment is a permanent endowment that where it, the interest uh, from that endowment is set up to be used for the operations of the theater. So it does help to pay for the staffing that we have at the theater, as well as if depending on you know the income and, and our other expenses, it can also go to help pay some of the other maintenance costs and uh, expenses, you know, basic operating expenses. So you have staff salaries, lights, heat, you know, we are responsible for all of that. And that endowment is set up as a permanent endowment where the principal stays right there, but we utilize the income, the dividend income from that. And people, we do have people who also donate to the endowment, so that is added to the principal, which also then helps to increase that dividend income that we're able to use for operating expenses. Good. Is the county responsible for things like roof repair? And yes, yes, as, as the landlord, but we are trying to work together so that, you know, understanding that, the, you know, the county has several other buildings, may or may not be able to do it all on their own, but, you know, helping them with grants information so that if there are grants that they really should be going for, we can provide the information or maybe, you know, some of the things um, interior-wise that are needed, whether it's the new carpet or seats or things with the stage, things are more related to programming, we can go after different sets of grants. So there's different grants, uh, different dollars, you know, so that the taxpayer is not having to foot that entire bill. And I think that's what we're really trying to do is to make sure that we have a good working relationship, but we need to concentrate on our programming and those type of upgrades that will help us maintain and increase the programming that we have. 